Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today, I'm off to get my tracking done at Artec over in St Albans. Shut up, Satnav. Yeah, because basically in the last video, I got new tyres fitted, some Pilot Sport 4 S's, and um, yeah, need to get the tracking done. Also, there was another issue with the last people that done the tracking. So yeah, that needs to be sorted out. Sounds mental now with the exhaust mods. <laughs> I don't know if it's always been here. I think it might have been. I remember coming here years ago. So it's gone in, they're checking it out. They're gonna let me know how out it is. And boys go. So this is the situation. So it's always, obviously you can see on one side it's completely out, but these are sort of borderline, you were saying. So yeah, gotta get the job done. So 90 quid plus that, that's gonna cost to sort out, which, you know, is pretty standard, standard cost for this sort of thing. It's good to have it right, I mean, the tyre wear is obviously going to be all over the place and they're expensive tyres so it's worth obviously doing and it's going to drive better as well. So I'll just wait out here and sit in the sun whilst they do it. There's loads of garages around here as well. I've actually been to this one before with um, when I had the Leaf for loan, not a loan car and there's a, I think there's a charger over there. Yeah I did a video about this, there's 250 kilowatt fast chargers over there, only one was working. All done guys. So yeah, sorted, got the print out all looking green which is what we like so all looking good apparently this one here you can't really change it but it's only ever so slightly out anyway um, i'm gonna have a closer look at this when i get back but right guys it's a couple of days later now the weather has just been absolutely insane i've been out a bit in the car and i'll tell you what it is noticeable when you do get that tracking done it is it is noticeable also those tires like that combination of that suspension setup that i've got on there now so like the ibex springs i'm not even running coilovers and I've, I've had a couple of little cheeky rips with you know some other cars like m5s and m3s and things like that um, it it just i can go around the inside of them most of the time the grip on these tts is just absolutely staggering you know the quattro system on these cars is is really awesome just having that kind of like you know four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive but you know it's it's mainly biased towards the front but it will kick in it's, it's clever it's a clever system um but yeah it will basically kind of like keeps you stable it's very very hard to lose grip on these cars um and especially with these tires and the warm you know roads at the moment i'm finding myself literally like the other day i was just sitting behind a 535i v10 and i heard him spool up i was like this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep with that it did i literally had to come off so it's not all about horsepower that's the, that's the thing about you know fast stuff it's not all about having you know maximum horsepower because you've got to get that grip you've got to get the traction if you can get the traction and have also light a lightweight car with insane grip you know you, you just don't need to have you know 500 horsepower or whatever these things you know those sort of cars are running like 400 nearly 400 horsepower now I'm, i need to get this car dyno because i'm telling you what it, it is it's, it's got to be running more than 300. I, I'm not having any, so if you don't know, this car's running stage one, this is stage one, um, and it's a generic map as well. And after that, I've, I've basically added like a, an R600 racing line filter, induction kit, full box, everything like that. It's, it's you know, a pro properly designed thing. Um, I've just had one res removed out of the exhaust to make it sound like that. So my standard generic map, I mean, I, I need to get this dyno because I just want to know what it's running because it is insane. I'm keeping with pretty much anything. I, I'm all over like dual motor Teslas. Like, I mean, maybe not from a standstill, but you know, from, from sort of like mid range and stuff. It, it's, just, it's just bonkers. This car is absolutely bonkers. And I haven't even gone to a sort of stage two yet. And that's the next step. So, you know, the next sort of step is like intercooler, um, you know, coil packs plugs um, and a proper remap and also want to get a DSG remap done on it as well like the, the S-Tronic gearbox to sort of speed that up a bit but I tell you what if you just want a fast car just grab a TT and stick a stage one map on it it is absolutely insane it's not even a 
um, you know, obviously not even a TTS or anything like that. It's just literally just a standard TT. It's got to be a Quattro. Get the Quattro version and obviously S-Tronic and, you know, make sure it's a 230 brake one because that goes up to about 300 on a map. It, it's just it's just unbelievable. So much bang for the buck, honestly. And the brakes, so the brakes are obviously done. T, I've got TTS 4 pots, custom coloured, painted by, by um, Dread FX. Um, Club Sport discs on there, bigger discs. They just bolt on. There's no adapters or anything needed. Can you hear that? That's the, the Mustang in my in my um, carport, the other other car in there. Um, that's nuts. That's like a five five liter Mustang. Right, guys. Before I wrap this one up, let's go out in the motor and see what the tyres are like. It sounds really good. This exhaust, and I'm just about to change it probably because I'm going to be fitting a high flow sports cap downpipe. Yeah, over the last couple of days, I've been looking at different downpipes. Basically, you have to do a downpipe. If you want to do a stage two, you've got to do something about the restrictive downpipe and catalytic converter. So the idea is to, first I was going to go with a Scorpion downpipe with um, a sports cat. I want to stick with the cat because it's just better for MOT purposes and, and really I'm probably going to be sort of traveling around Europe and doing a little bit of driving around Europe soon. Um, say Europe but probably just the south of France for now. Um, so I don't want to have any issues with, not that there will be but you know what I mean you never know what's going to happen in the future with, with regulations and stuff so a sports cat will allow you to kind of pass MOTs. A sports cat is probably going to have to be quite hot to do that but yeah that's not that's not really a problem. Basically, the tuning company MRC quoted me for a bunch of stuff to do a stage two, and the Scorpion downpipe was one of the things on there. Like that was the downpipe they were going to use. I can't remember the part part number. It just begins with S A U X or something like that. Um, and I've since been looking at some different options for that because I was like, I don't know if that's the best. I want something, you know, even better. Maybe a Miltech. Um, Miltech, another company that make all this stuff, but. Um, Basically, I've found another one called, it's quite common, there's lots of videos about it online, but it's called a track slag, which I love the name. Um, and that is a UK made one, and the welding looks really, really good on it. It's a UK made thing as well. Um, so, you know, that's, that's good. So downpipe wise, that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna do that. Um, and then we're gonna obviously have to do something about the rest of the exhaust. Now, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just bridge the gap from the downpipe. There's basically one resonator between the down, end of the downpipe to the, the, the normal box on the back of the TV, uh, TV t on the back of this car, the TT. I'm just going to join that box with probably, I'll see what Michael can do. Like maybe just fabricate something so it's like there's no resonators other than the back box. I mean, it's going to be flipping loud, but you know, not, not too bad, I don't think. Um, the good thing about that is you have the exhaust valves, or one exhaust valve will still work on the TT. So if you want it quiet, you can just stick it in like comfort mode or something. So I'm thinking that's probably the best way to do it. I need to just double check how the valves work because when I change drive settings, I don't even know if it's really even making any difference. I do notice the valve moving on idle. So when it's in, in an idle position, um, so like the, the, the car's just sitting there idling. When you first turn it on, the valve is open and then you hear it shut. So it's definitely working, but I don't, I need to figure out what it actually, on what exactly what positions it opens. Sometimes they say it's on dynamic mode of the car or versus comfort. So I need to figure that out to work out whether that's gonna work or not. Um, later on, maybe I might just do like a custom exhaust with some extra valves, but I'm gonna see what the OEM one sounds like because I want this car like to look pretty stock. Apart from it's got these massive great brakes on the front, which makes obviously everybody think, oh, hang on, what's, what's he got under there? But I don't know what's going on. I'm turning into a bit of an ASPO in my old age. I think because I've been doing all this really fast e-bike stuff, I'm just still in that zone of just like, you know, having stuff that goes quick. And electric stuff's great, obviously, but you know, it's nice to, um, it's nice to have a bit of power in your, your normal vehicles. This thing should shift though on a stage two. I think it's just gonna be be pretty immense. I'm gonna go into some more mods and stuff um, later later in another video or in a series of videos, but 
yeah, I'm hoping this build is going to be going to be awesome. <clears throat> I, think, I mean, it's awesome now. It's really flipping quick, but <clears throat> I think it can be quicker and more finely tuned. I've got some tuning book now for um, at Devil Developments over near near Brighton, I think now. So I've got that book. So I've got to basically get all my stage two hardware on um, before I go down there and, and get this tuned because I want it the best it can be. And we could be looking at like kind of north of 350 horsepower. If it's running 300 now, I mean, you know, it's quick now and there's not a lot of things that beat it really badly. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty insane. Right, I'm at the car wash. Oh, it's all nice and clean again. There's some weird old dust going around. It's like just everything, just a film of just horrible dust, like that Sahara cloud thing that we had a little while ago. Right, let's go home. Try a little roundabout test. Oh my God, the grip is just insane. <laughs> I mean, this grip, this car just grips anyway, but it's just not, it's just not budging at all. So as luck would have it, I've just got caught, stuck for like 30 minutes in a road closure, which is where e-bikes are better. <laughs> but yeah, a bit of a nightmare, but I'm nearly, nearly back now. There's one little kind of roundabout bit up here, which I can kind of have a little blast through so I can test out the, uh, test out the grip a bit. So everyone just comes around this bend and sticks their foot down, expecting to go straight onto the dual carriage, but of course it's literally sharp. to get out of here. Now everyone's sort of like dawdling, not knowing where they're supposed to be going. Where are you going? Girlfriend's gone to Aldi. She'd be wandering around the centre aisle probably. So I'm gonna uh, go and meet her. <laughs> such a kid. I'm such a kid. Oh, shit. There she is. Getting the roof down. How are you finding Clive? Oh, I'm loving Clive. Loving Clive. Look at you with your little other. hat on. We love each other. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to do any comments, Rick. No, but what would you want me to say? <laughs> so, um, just getting ready for the flyby. I suppose I should let him pass. Little rev. There you go, what a child. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed that in the tunnel is a given. Any minute now. <laughs> oh. 